Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Your family traditions, culture, and stories are your legacy. So is your health history. Join the All of Us Research Program and share your health information. Through research, your legacy can help build a healthier future for all of us. Hello everyone, this is Jarvis S. Scott with What's Happening in Birmingham. Back again, as promised, a follow-up se segment with Anthony Clemens with Bell Peppers Restaurant. And it wouldn't be complete if you go to a restaurant and don't try out their dishes. So I told Anthony I was coming back next week. So Anthony, what we got, because we're going to go through a couple of dishes real fast. And for the record, I have not ate anything for lunch. So this is going to be real fun. All right, what we got here is our uh, honey garlic chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. We have our Cajun Ranch sweet potato fries. And over here we have a big meat pizza on a cauliflower crust. Okay. I chose the cauliflower crust specifically just to prove a point that it tastes just like a traditional pizza crust mm -hmm. without, being, without being bread at all. Mm -hmm. So that's what we want to focus on today, the unique items. And um, so that's pretty much what we got going on here. Sweet potato fries, Cajun Ranch, honey garlic chicken sandwich, and a big meat pizza on a cauliflower crust. Okay, and I'm gonna try it right now. All right, so let's let's try it. Let's see which one first. Let's go. Let's go here first. Okay. All right, so seed squares, pepperoni, pepperoni, sausage, bacon, and turkey breast. Now all of the toppings are turkey. Mm -hmm. None of it is red meat. It's all white meat. Oh. Right. And it's on cauliflower crust. It was the cheese. The cheese is the uh, whole milk mozzarella. Oh, wow. You have uh, a sago. Uh, you have parmesan. You have romano. Mm -hmm. You have, uh, what's the last one? Fantina. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, like I said, that's a blue free cross. It's actually not very at all. Mm -hmm. but can you tell? Mm -hmm. Can you tell that the, the crust is cauliflower? Or can you? Or does it taste like a traditional pizza? That's what we want. We want it to taste traditional. Taste that traditional. I, I don't even know it was different with gluten free at all. Well, I like the cheese part of it. All right. For most of my people, when people make cheese in my family, they always have them like unless you ask for it. Cheese be different than you might be allergic to the cheese. I'm from the pizza crust. You got seasoning. Mm -hmm. What kind of seasoning do you have on this one? Mm -hmm. so we got some, uh, we had some oregano. Mm -hmm. We got some, uh, what else we got? We got some thyme, we got some oregano, and we got some basil. Uh -huh. And how many carbs is this? So per serving, which a serving would be a third of that, mm -hmm. that particular pizza has about about 28, I believe, per serving. Oh, okay. But that's not our lowest carb option. Okay. Now, we also have a keto crust mm -hmm. that would take that number down to about 10. Oh, wow. For a third of that, mm -hmm. which would be about eight of those squares, no, about six of those squares. Okay. Yeah. So six squares would be 10 carbs. Oh, wow. Yeah, if that were the keto crust. But that's primarily just a gluten-free crust for the people that want that option. Oh, okay. Then why well, I got a drink? Nature's twist. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a sugar-free option that we carry. Oh, wow, okay. Well, for people who missed the first video, try to give me the story real, real quick. I got started here in the restaurant business. Well, I pretty much got started by making four other choices. You know, I, I wanted to create food that uh, I could eat that's still fun food. Mm -hmm. That's sort of kind of a part of a healthy diet, you know? Because mm -hmm. believe it or not, man, we, we want longevity. You know what I mean? Yeah. We want to be here as long as we can. You know, and a lot of times, you know, we're not really thinking about what we're eating. We're just stopping, getting a quick bite here and there. And it can take a toll on us, you know? It took a toll on me. 
Mm -hmm. So that's why I just, you know, decided to come out with healthier options for the people who want it, you know. So that's pretty much everything in a nutshell. You know what I mean? And I think my argument too is like her food still tastes good. Even mm -hmm. with less carbs. So I feel like the people have a choice with <clears throat> less than with because it's the taste. We probably a lot of people get the food they eat. We just, you know, we just put we put salt, we put pepper, or whatever seasoning on what we do. Even with this lemonade, I can't even tell the difference. With it. We don't want to tell the difference. You know what I mean? <laughs> if, if, if that if that tasted like uh, you know, cauliflower is a, is a mm -hmm. vegetable similar to broccoli. Mm -hmm. You know, broccoli has that that veggie taste. Mm -hmm. And when you're eating a pizza, you don't really want that taste. You know, not saying that you know broccoli is disgusting or cauliflower is disgusting, but when you're eating pizza, you want to eat pizza. Yeah, and, and that's what we got right there. We're still gonna eat pizza, but eating a vegetable at the same time. And that's the beauty of it. You know what I mean? Because when you're eating pizza with all meat. There's no veggies in sight. Oh, yeah. You get what I'm saying? You just have a bunch of carbs, a bunch of bread, mm -hmm. and, and that's it. But now you have, you know, healthier meat options on top of, you know, a veggie plus mm -hmm. that still tastes just like, you know, red meat and it still tastes just like bread. You know what I mean? Just regular bread. That's what that's what we want. That that was the mm -hmm. that was the aim behind that product, you know. And none of it's mechanically separated. Mm -hmm. Meaning that typically when you buy a frozen pizza, the meat is mechanically separated. Mm -hmm. And that means a machine strips the meat from the bone mm -hmm. and, it, and it goes through like a tube and it comes out like a pot of meat. You know what pot of meat is? The little meat in the can. Mm -hmm. You scoop up with the cracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't we don't we don't want that type of meat. And then they form it uh -huh. into a into a pepperoni or a piece of chicken or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's mechanically separated meat. And those meat, the meat that I have in that particular product, and all of my products are not mechanically separated. They come from whole cuts of meat, like this chicken breast. Is. You know, that chicken breast was hand cut. Oh wow! You know, yeah, I'm trying that. Hand cut, hand seasoned. Mm -hmm. It didn't come out of a bag mm -hmm. or a box. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's the beauty behind the, the products that we serve. So with this pizza. I can get this from the store. You can, you can get that from the store. Okay. As of now, you can get it from 14 Piggly Wiggly locations in Jefferson County and Walker County. Okay. As of today, we've made an introduction to Walker County. So okay. you can get that particular piece of in any other 13 stores. I'm telling you guys, this piece is amazing. I mean, trust me, I'm, I know I got people that have talk to them, but man, you know what I mean this? And like you said, well, a lot of these pizzas you just got meat on them, you got no veggies on them. At least you know we're getting some veggies, you know, while you sit there. about kids, you know. Yeah. Kids could eat that option and they would not even know mm -hmm. they're eating cauliflower of course. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I've had a young lady, I think she was seven or eight, and she said and ate that pizza just like it was from anywhere else. Oh, wow. Because she couldn't tell the difference. And that's the beauty of it, you know. We want to be able to eat good, but still eat fun at the same time. Yeah. Does that make sense? Eat good, but eat fun at the same time? Okay, let's taste so good, y'all. I definitely see this. We got football season coming around. Like you said, got kids coming over. <laughs> we buy, we can get one this slice, this slice, this slice, and we're good to go. Right, right. Oh, um, I'm about to say, we're going to do that now. Okay. We're going to do chicken breast next, but. Um, tell me where you're located. Okay. All right, thank you. Where are you located? 144 from River Square Plaza in Hueytown, Alabama. And our hours are 2.30 to 6.30, primarily because we're a processing facility now as well. Mm -hmm. And we process from 6 to 2, so we open at 2.30, close at 6.30. But on Saturdays, you can come at 11, and we close at 7. Okay. We don't process on Saturdays, so we're open all day on Saturdays. There we go. So I'm going to go over to Utah. It's on the western side of Jefferson County. Trust me, a lot of people that's a restaurant food, this is worth the drive to come and eat this. I'm about to get in this next. <laughs> I'll eat the whole piece of it. I know, I'm bringing the whole piece of it. It's got some exercise. 
Oh God, I'm talking about that. It's good, man. Appreciate All right, so we got Cajun Ranch sweet potato fries. Okay. Mmm. Well, you know, a lot of people that love to get Cajun Ranch fries. They love that that special salt with it. Yeah. So, what makes this different? Um, one that's more healthier. Okay. Uh, so, for example, the Cajun Ranch sweet potato fries. Mm -hmm. Now, the sweet potato is a complex carb. No problem. The white potato is a simple carb, mm -hmm. like white bread, white potatoes, a donut, piece of cake, all of that are simple carbs. Simple carbs, once you digest a simple carb, it breaks down immediately, increasing blood sugar. Okay? Mm -hmm. A complex carb, like a sweet potato, brown rice, mm -hmm. uh, vegetables, carrots, all of that, all, all of those things are complex carbs. Mm -hmm. Once you digest those carbs, they break down much slower. Mm -hmm. Giving the body time to utilize the carbs and break those carbs down before it spikes blood sugar. So that's the, pretty much the difference. That's why it's highly recommended that if you're going to consume a lot of carbs, they would probably need to be complex or okay. so simple. Okay. The simple is going to break down almost instantly and, and, and raise your blood sugar quickly. <laughs> Whereas a complex carb, yeah. it, it breaks down much slower because it's. Uh, the, the, it, it's more complex. It, it's right. not, you know, just a simple carb. It doesn't break down as quickly as a simple, like those chips, like mm -hmm. a bag of chips. Mm -hmm. They're gonna break down instantly. Or whereas if you had some sweet potato chips, they will break down the sugar. So that's pretty much the difference. So, you know, eating those fries are, are not really gonna have a big effect on you, you know, as far as breaking down, raising your blood sugar all at once. And then we'll, it's a more it's a more steady increase instead of instead of raising your blood sugar like a seven five rocket straight up. It's more of a it's like a plane taking off. You know how a plane take off at an angle mm -hmm. when a rocket goes straight up. Mm -hmm. That's 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 how that's the difference in the increase in blood sugar. All right, and then I don't know you are. And another thing, uh, more vitamins and minerals in complex carbs than simple carbs. Simple carbs, you don't have anything but calories and carbs mm -hmm. and salt. That's it. Mm -hmm. Complex carbs, you know, you're gonna have a few more vitamins and minerals, you know, that comes with your complex carbs. So that's why we sell sweet potato fries. I'm telling you, I've never really been a fan of like sweet potato fries, but I'm, man, these are good. Like, right. you don't taste like the sweet potato in it. And, that, and that's another thing. The seasonings that I use, mm -hmm. it, it masks. That sweet potato taste, yeah. yeah, and that's the, the taste that people tend to stay away from. That's why oh, I don't like sweet potato fries because sweet potatoes have that strong yeah. taste. Yeah. And I and I have a few seasonings that doesn't have a lot of salt that I use to sort of give it that traditional right. white potato vibe. You know, I mean, a lot of times too, I know this is just me. French fries, hamburgers. How do you eat it and just sit on it? I don't think you can explain that. You know, like you said, you said like simple carbs or something that's like still. So when something sits on you, mm -hmm. that means that you can you consume too much fat. Fat, right. fat takes longer to digest. So if you were eating uh, a, a burger that was 75% lean, or versus a burger that was 90% lean, mm -hmm. the burger that's 90% lean, 10% fat, is gonna digest much quickly. Okay. Then the burger that's 70% lean, mm -hmm. it's gonna sit there for a while. Oh, okay. it, it, it's tougher to break down due to the high amounts of fat. You get what I'm saying? And, and it has saturated fat, that's the bad fat. Okay. That's what makes white meat better than red meat. Oh, lower okay. amounts of saturated fat. Well, now I'm gonna try a chicken breast egg, right? Let's dig into the chicken sandwich. All right, so if I start the bun, 80 calories. Wow. Bacon, turkey bacon? Turkey bacon. But it's crispy, it has a crunch, and, okay. it, and it does not taste like rubber or leather. Oh, or yeah, like yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm very strategic on the, uh -huh. the products that I use okay. for the restaurant. Oh yeah. But I think we all like family, so y'all see me eat like this. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I really like what I'm eating. So you see it like this. 
And you took a big piece of chicken off of that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and my first time I'm telling you stuff, and I, you might be my most entertaining thing you'll ever have, but what we say, get the beef, I'm going to tell you, this stuff, like when I first tasted it, right, I noticed like the sauce. You got what I'm saying? But like you said, the turkey bacon, you got a real crispy. You know, a lot of times you know, you fry the bacon too hard, and say that, mm, it still got that soft taste in it. So, with your chicken bread, how many calories is chicken bread? About 90. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chicken bread varies in size. The bonus skinless chicken breast doesn't have many calories, about 100, 120, mm -hmm. depending on the size. Mm -hmm. So, in addition to pizzas, um, well, we got grilled chicken salad. What other things do we have on the menu? So we have burgers, we have uh, a different variety of pizzas, that chicken sandwich, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, sandwiches like we have club sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. Mm -hmm. uh, we, have, we have quite a few things. Like, oh, the Now, like, come to this because I know I can take all of it. But yeah, I still admit you got eggs and omelets. Yeah. <laughs> See, we were doing a lot of that stuff before we started processing. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But now that we processed, we had to kind of narrow the menu down a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll still do breakfast items for people that ask for it, mm -hmm. but we kind of stopped doing the breakfast thing because, you know, we have to make a thousand, over a thousand pieces a month. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So having all that inventory was kind of like a big plus for the kitchen. But we still do breakfast for the people that uh, want that option. You know, we just we just need a little little time, a little notice. Make sure you call that over again. All right, so we do a lot of groups, organizations. We do like catering events. We do. Okay. We do. We'll just we'll just need uh, just a few days notice. Anything can happen. You know, right, just okay. a few days notice. Anything can happen. Tell them about that sauce. So the sauce, what do you taste? Tastes honey. More like, I wanna say, I wanna say Dijon. Well, a little bit. I wanna say like a little honey, honey in it. Definitely some honey in it. I'm sorry, I don't know kind of. Hey, you, but you just. <laughs> <laughs> the with the I mean, they really like what they eat. But the hands ain't dirty, they try to be real up the about it. Right? Look at what you're saying. This is real good. I mean, it's just different. Taste, you know, when it's traditional. Chicken sound, but definitely you have your turkey bacon. But the sauce is definitely like a honey type of thing. I know people say the drip, but the honey. Tastes so good, isn't it? So, that's why I want to say cool the phone. So, ask me if they want to reach you. And um, what's the phone number to get in contact? Phone number is 205-436-8500. That's the phone number to bell covers. Okay. Well, Anthony, thank you, man, for the hospitality. Bring me back on again to get another, um, you know, take, exclusive taste testing. Um, tell you, what, you all probably know this magic of editing. Having so much good time, the camera stopped. Uh, somebody had to do a double take, but um, definitely check out this local restaurant here in town, Huey Town, not too far. If you live in Jefferson County, probably maybe 20 minutes away, 30 minutes away for some people, but it's worth the drive. Thank you all for watching this video. Please check out what's happening on Birmingham.com for more interviews. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And what's that phone number again? 205-436-8500. All right, and check out Bell Covers. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website, app, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.